let's see what we actually mean by a problem and why it is so important to start the Six Sigma by describing it. So a problem is a statement about a condition that should be improved or it describes a difficulty that should be eliminated. By problem, we also mean any kind of deviation from expected result. In other words, something that is not according to the norm plan. By problem, we can also mean an obstacle that may stop you from achieving the goal. Describing and defining the problem is important because, first of all, it clarifies the current situation and it helps the team to know what they should concentrate on. It also helps identify the severity and location of the problem. In many cases, if we've got a good, proper problem statement, it's much easier to estimate the financial impact of the problem and the potential benefit coming from improvements. Problem statement also helps understand what and how should be improved. And finally, problem statement, especially if you delegate the work to others, is a great tool that can be used to communicate with others. Now, a good problem statement will have the following features. So first of all, there is a time frame over which the problem has been occurring. In other words, we know when and for how long we have experienced the problem that we will be trying to solve and the situation that we'll be trying to improve. The description should be obviously specific, preferably with numbers, dates, and we have to have a very good metric defined in the problem statement that we will use to measure the severity of the problem. This metric will help us define the size of the problem and also the change we have to make. It would be great if we knew what is the problem type, so is it a sporadic or chronic problem. And finally, a good problem statement should not have a solution. The solution should come from data analysis that we'll do later on. Now, to show you how it works in practice, let's have a look at a few examples. So let's imagine that we have to describe a problem statement for a chain of restaurants and we got the following problem statement that is far from perfect. So the problem statement is like this. The satisfaction of the customer visiting restaurants has decreased recently. So we don't know by how much, what does mean recently and what is basically the impact. A better problem statement could look like this. In the fourth quarter of the current year, customer satisfaction visiting the restaurant dropped from seven to three. The decrease in customer satisfaction meant that the traffic went down by 31%. So we know when it happened, we know how big the problem is. So we know that it went from seven to three and we know what is the financial impact of the problem. Let's have a look at the second example. This time we'll look at online shop. And again, let's have a look first at the incorrect problem statement. So here we get the following description. Most of the customers purchasing online in our store abandoned the card when finalizing the order. A better problem statement would look like this. This year, 56% of customers purchasing in our online stores abandoned the card. Last year, it was 35% and the increase from 35 to 56 meant that we lost 2 million. So as you can see, problem statement helps you a lot. So the first starting point is always to try and create a proper problem statement.